Controlling the worldwide chaotic spreading of COVID-19 through vaccinations. Amid the global COVID-19 pandemic, we face challenges that require innovative and strategic responding. Dr. Aldo Bonacera at Texas A&M University in the USA and Laboratori Nazionale del Sud, Istituto Nazionale di Fisica Nucleare in Italy, and Dr. Hua Zheng at the School of Physics and Information Technology, Shangxi Normal University in China, have taken a mathematical approach to compare the current COVID-19 pandemic with the Spanish flu. The Spanish flu of 1918 emerged in the aftermath of World War I, associated with a devastatingly high mortality rate, particularly within younger age groups. Successive waves of the disease reflected the development of new and increasingly more fatal variants over time. Dr. Bonacera and Dr. Zeng have created, using a logistic map to make comparisons between the Spanish flu and COVID-19. They describe how, in 1918, the world population was about 2 billion, and around 0.8 billion individuals were infected by the Spanish flu between 1918 and 1920. Of those who were infected, 2% died, giving rise to a catastrophic 16 million deaths worldwide. Thinking about the current pandemic, the global population is around four times larger, meaning that estimates of infection and death should also be multiplied by four. But now we have effective vaccination as a preventative strategy against viral outbreaks. Dr. Bonacera and Dr. Zeng note that as of November 2021, at least 7.3 billion vaccine doses have been administrated worldwide, which means that about 3.65 billion people have been fully vaccinated. The upshot of this is that the current number of recorded deaths, namely 5.1 million, is much lower than would have been the case, as predicted by the logistic map, if vaccines had not been made available. Dr. Bonacera and Dr. Zeng argue that these findings underscore the urgency of making vaccines available worldwide and note that the sooner this is achieved, the more positive the outcomes are likely to be for children and people with medical conditions who cannot be safely vaccinated at the current time. They further warn that even if widespread vaccination is achieved within an adequate time frame, a further difficulty would arise with the emergence of new, potentially more threatening variants of COVID-19. Looking to the future, the researchers remind us of the need to bear in mind the potential loss of vaccine efficacy with time and the potential need for additional dosing to compensate for this. On this issue, Dr. Bonacera and Dr. Zeng point to the utility of excluding individuals who can be confirmed to already carry sufficient antibodies via blood testing. Further work could also usefully consider the effects of different vaccine types to inform the development of additional vaccines to confront new variants of COVID-19 if they emerge. Dr. Bonacera and Dr. Zeng conclude that testing positive for COVID-19 at some stage is a high probability for each and every one of us. Given this probability and the proven efficacy of vaccines in dramatically reducing the risk of death, the necessity of being vaccinated to ensure that we are both ready and able to face and ultimately overcome this global challenge is clear. This video is based on the paper Controlling the Worldwide Chaotic Spreading of COVID-19 Through Vaccinations, published in the Journal of Modern Physics.